Okay, so now that you have your G coat, which is basically your tool pad, um, which your 3D printer will follow um, of your to, to basically manufacture that, um, that object itself or that pack file, what you can do is you can insert your USB with that G code on it into your Prusa printer. In this case, we're going to be using the mini, although the larger Prusa printers are very, very similar. And what will pop up is the last model that you uploaded to this USB. In this case, we have our wheel, and it also tells us what layer height, that's PLA, and it also says the time in the file name. So what we can do before we actually start printing this, we want to select the plastic. Now, as previously stated in the slicing software, we would like to use PLA. What I have here is red PLA, which I would like to use. So what we can do is we can put that over here and we can start feeding it into the 3D printer, like so, all the ways till it stops. Then you go to filament and you can go to load filament and we're going to go for PLA. This is so that it can heat up and drag in the filament and know what heat to take it to so that it melts PLA. So I keep pressure on it and it starts to pull it in like so. And then once I start to seeing the red plastic coming out from the bottom of the extruder, be careful not to touch it, it will actually burn you. So when it starts coming out here, which I can see already, and I want to see if it's the right color. If you're changing it from a color that you previously weren't using, then you might want to press no, and it will push out a bit more to clear out the old color plastic. So is the color correct? I'm going to say yes. Now that our filament is loaded, I can go to print. I can go to that wheel. It's going to give us a preview, which is nice and handy, just in case we are printing the wrong object. Click print. Now that the model is finished printing, what you can do is take off all the excess. So I like to take off the little piece here at the start, which is to clear the nozzle. You can also lift this off of the bed and flex it if you like. If it's quite a large model, that's held on quite, uh, quite well. Um, but what you can also do is you can just get a little uh, spatula like so underneath, and then you can take your little wheel off or whatever else you print it. 